Hi there. Well, today we're going to be having a look at a new device that can be used to run local voice control with Home Assistant. So last year there was a lot of hype around local voice control and I've been playing with the S3 box, but there's a couple of limitations with that. Namely, the size of the speaker means that it's really soft. So I've been looking around for another device and there's a couple of people that have shown videos of how to build your own device, but I wanted to find a device that I could buy off the shelf. So I came across this one and let's have a look. So having a look at this device, it comes in a white plastic case with this RGB LED at the bottom that shows you some status of what's going on. On the back side, we've got the mic and the USB power supply. It's running off five volts DC. It's running an ESP32 S3 chip, uh, size wise 118 by 70 by 70. Um, it's obviously got wire top five, Bluetooth and USB mini. Um, it's got an SD card in the box, not quite sure what that's used for. Um, it's got an infrared receiver, once again haven't played with that as yet. And it's got the following microphone and amplifier. Having a look at the speaker, we've got a 3 watt speaker, 8 ohm, it's pretty heavy. Um, looking at the board itself on this side, we've got the power coming in. We've got this SD card over here. We've obviously got some header pin access over here. RGB LED on this side, some capacitors. Uh, this is our microphone and here we've got our infrared. Looking at the underside of the board, we've obviously got our ESP with the internal antenna, but it's also got this external antenna, which is quite nice. We've got another three RGB LEDs on the back and we've got a couple of boot and reset buttons there and some other small components. When I received the device, the speaker was loose. I'm assuming something happened during shipping. So I will need to open this up and sort that out. The device does not come with the software pre-installed. So you need to go to ESP Home, create a new device, give it a name, check next, skip this step, select ESP32 S3, and then skip again. You then edit that and you now select all of this and you paste the code directly from their website. All you have to change is these two things, SSID and password. I've set that to the secret Wi-Fi password and secret Wi-Fi SSID so that it pulls it in. Now you just go install. You then need to install the Whisper, Piper and Open Wake Word add-ons. Next we go along to Voice Assistance and we create a new one. You can see mine, I've called AS. Uh, we've selected the conversation agent as Home Assistant, speech to text as Faster Whisper, text to speech as Piper, and we can select from a number of different languages and also accents. And down the bottom here, we've got Open Wake Word, and we can select from a number of different wake words over there. Hey Jarvis, what time is it? 6.41 p.m. Hey Jarvis, turn on the bathroom strip. Turned on the light. Hey Jarvis, what is the supply air temperature? Supply air is 25.7 degrees Celsius. So overall, to run through my thoughts about this device, first of all, build quality was not great with the speaker falling out like it did. The operation of the device, the speaker itself is quite loud, even though it doesn't come across that loud in the video. If you're standing in a room, you can hear it quite clearly, which you certainly can't do with the S3 box. So from that perspective, it's really well. Response times vary. Sometimes they're really quick for like the time, other times a little bit slower. And sometimes I find that it doesn't actually respond to the wake word, but I had exactly that same problem with the S3 box. So I think it may be something to do with the Home Assistant side of things. But anyway, this is another option or a new option if you wanna try it out, but do be aware this voice assistant or these voice assistants are not perfect yet. I think we've become too used to the way that some of the Amazon devices and the Google devices work. 
and there is still a reasonable amount of work to be done. But anyway, that's all for now. I look forward to catching you in the next one. Bye for now.